So hi guys, I'm getting this query most often. Most people are asking me, I'm reading current affairs, but I couldn't be able to remember them. So what can I do? Let me tell about me. So let's say I have read somewhere around 20 current affairs per day. Uh, let's say and uh, is for a month, right? So 30 days into 20, it's 60. And it's for, let's say for 8 months. So it is 4,800 current affairs. Then I read backups daily. I read two backups for 30 days into 12 months. So 12 into 3 is 36, 36 into 2, 72. So 720 backups. And for interview, I have read somewhere around, let's say in an approximate of 500 static banking and banking awareness questions. I read some other miscellaneous things like this, uh, news about this IMF, World Bank, and their working, their headquarters and etc. So let's say for a total of 3 per day into 30 into 12 months, 1080. When we get this total, it is somewhere around 7300. So how did I exactly remember this? Let's get to the video. The first thing everyone asked me is whether should I take a digital notes or a handwritten notes. There was a research taken where it shows that a set of two groups of people are divided in which one group is said to take notes from a lecture in a digital format that is they can use their keyboard for typing and then they can highlight it wherever they want like that and another group is made to take handwritten notes and what happened is they have conducted a test after finishing of this lecture the candidates who have taken notes in handwritten has taken more marks than those of the digital method users and these tests have been conducted many times and the result is always the same so why it is possible because here the rule is known as effort rule putting effort is actually hard so whenever you put effort the possibility of forgetting them is actually very less so that's how this rule works and it is a proven fact so that's why i am asking you to take handwritten notes whenever possible so the second thing i'm going to say is active recall technique and passive recall technique i actually talked about this during my daily routine video you can always refer to that part i will give the card here so the next thing is very very important it is known as revision. You know it, but when to do and how to do. So for revision, you can prefer a lot of methods. The one method that I would love to uh, do is by taking mocks and quizzes or watching these marathon videos from this YouTube. So whenever you read a current affair at the end of the week, let's say in Sunday, don't have any current affairs. So at that time, uh, you can revise what are all you have read in this week. And then you can do the monthly. and Miscellaneously, you can put quizzes on this telegram group that is available. It will also help you to remember a lot of current affairs. And to remember this current affairs, you can additionally use mnemonics. Like, let's say there is a mnemonic which is a favorite one. To remember the 13 schedules of India, it is a tiers of old PM where for the word T to M, there is 13 letters and each 13 letters represents the 13 schedules of India. This is one type and other things you can do is like using clues to remember. Clues seems, uh, let's say the PM Fasal Bhima Yojana, which is launched in the year 2016. So how to remember this? Very simple. Fasal Bhima Yojana, it starts with F and 2016, it is 6. So F, when we convert it into alphabetical order, F is the sixth letter and same way 2016. So this like you can remember this current affairs with these clues. So these are some of the techniques you can use and I hope these videos will help you in remembering the current affairs. Hope you guys do well in your exam and all the best. Thank you.